All right, everyone, this is the RTSP check update for the Fing cameras. Um, I was having problems where my camera, the 20 RTSP server, would go offline. Uh, this corrects that problem. It adds a second controller to check it. Um, I did a little bit of digging around and I found some content. However, again, uh, as I said in my first video, it was written from a coder's perspective and uh, I don't have any experience with that. So I'm going to drag over here the steps. As you can see, it says create a directory, do this, 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 add this in there, and make sure it's uh, ch modded. Well, of course, none of this really makes sense to anybody who doesn't have any coding experience. So I'm going to walk you through it. Uh, first of all, I'm using, I downloaded PuTTY, uh, P-U-T-T-Y. Go ahead and download that before you start. And then it's very simple from here. Uh, once you uh, get the, uh, PuTTY up and running, you go into PuTTY. This is the first screen it launches. Type in root at and then the IP address um, that you'll be using. Uh, in this case, I'm going to add it to 192.168.1.130. Um, just go ahead and click open. Again, I got this from up here. Um, that's how I know what uh, my configuration is. So we'll go ahead and click OK. Give it a few moments. This is just basically saying I'm connecting to something that's, uh, you know, I have no guarantee that it won't harm my computer. So, yes, I know who this is. The password is iSmart12. So, iSmart12. All right. So, as you can see now, we're logged into it. Um, what we're going to do here is we can use a little bit of copy and pasting. This makes it a lot easier. Um, I'm going to go ahead and just copy and paste from my other window the instructions. So I'm going to right click to copy into PuTTY. You just right click and it will copy in there. Enter. What this just did is created the rtsp-check.sh file. Now this is the part where I kept on getting lost. So PuTTY has an editor that's built into it. We're going to type vi space and then the name of the file we want to edit. In this case, it's the rtsp-check.sh. So again, I just right click to copy that in there, click enter. At this point, it's very important. First thing you need to do is press the button on your keyboard called insert. Great. As you can see, the left hand corner on this, it just went to an I. This means it's ready for me to actually edit it. This took me a bit. I had to go through a few tutorials on basic uh, putty. Uh, skills. So again, I'm going to copy and paste the code from that website, right click to paste it in here. The next step is press escape. You can see in that left hand corner down there, it's going to go to a dash. Then colon WQ enter. This is going to save the modifications I just made to that file. Perfect. Done. The next step is to do the uh, ch mod to give it the right attributes again just copy that over paste enter done easy the next step is to go into a different directory and create a 99.rtsp.check script this will actually show up in the boot scripts enter very easy again vi name of the file that i want to edit which in this case is this file Again, insert that unlocks it so I can actually edit the file. Before you hit insert, you're just in view only mode. I'm going to paste it in there, click escape to go back into view only mode, and then colon WQ will save it. Enter. So at this point, I've done everything I needed to do to get this new script added. So if I refresh this page, I got the new script, enable start boom we're in business easy as that again uh, these these guides as thankful as I am for them they're not designed for the average Joe I mean he says it up here hey if you don't understand this stuff this isn't this isn't for you but nonetheless it's really frustrating when they allow you to hack your camera and then you end up with problems like the heat issue that I talked about in my prior video 
or in this case it randomly disconnecting from the RTSP server and then having to reboot it manually.